Uh, good evening, everyone. So I've been told uh, to speak about luxury and reimagining luxury. Uh, so the way I thought I'd start was define luxury uh, in some sort of way. Uh, the issue I was facing, though, is the definition of luxury is so broad and so nebulous. Uh, it means so many things to so many different people. And so therefore, what I thought I'd do is I'd give it my own narrow meaning uh, based on my own experiences. So as the founder of Isprava, which is a luxury holiday home company, it's my job to give some of the world's most sophisticated clients what they desire and many times exceed their expectations by providing them things they, don't, they do not even know they want. And since we're always trying to be ahead of the curve, I believe we're in a fortunate position to both spot and create trends. Historically, luxury has always been synonymous with excess and conspicuousness. However, we believe that luxury is in the process of being reimagined as a luxury of consciousness. I would like to focus on three things today, and these three things are what we at Esprava believe that are going to be the most important thing for luxury consumers and stakeholders over the short and medium term. Number one, the experience. We have learned that focusing on the entire experience is as important as the product itself. Millennials are experience driven and more and more brands will realize that spending time and money on the entire experience will be necessary. At Isprava, we're lucky because we're trying to disrupt a very staid and old sector with a huge demand supply gap, which had allowed incumbent companies to be complacent and not value their com customers' true worth, which in turn led to many brands slowly losing relevance. Having identified this gap in the market, we narrowly focused on giving potential and existing customers, investors, and stakeholders an unbelievable experience. Our sales experience includes handwritten notes, pickup and drop services for customers, customized reading material in the car, plane, or boats, concierge services, curated meals, and a multi-sensory approach. But we don't stop there. We truly believe that customer service starts after a home is bought. Therefore, we provide our homeowners with everything from guest relationship managers to customized poker sets, yoga teachers to masseuses, doctors on calls to babysitters. And in one case, our guest relationship team even organized a wedding proposal for one of our customers. The, this focus on the experience has helped us change from being viewed as a company that sold a beautiful, albeit commoditized product to a services company where the actual home is just incidental to the entire experience. And most importantly, creating experiences has afforded our customers the true and greatest luxuries of time, family, and actual human relationships. The second important point I want to highlight is the slight shift in customer behavior from conspicuous consumption to self-consumption. Luxury items have historically celebrated excess, and many luxury items are purchased as status symbols. I believe that more and more people will indulge in luxury items for themselves as a way to enhance their lives in a, in a way that's meaningful for them rather than just to show off. This will always be a slow shift, but my belief is that as Indians become wealthier, the need to consume conspicuously will reduce. And this provides an opportunity for companies with a clear vision and truly great products and services to succeed and thrive and disrupt the existing market for recognizable brands. The third point, and I think this is the most important point, is the understanding that true luxury has the ability to positively impact society. The narrow and rigid binary of excessive luxury and frugal sustainability is a misconception. Sustainable products share the same essential qualities of luxury goods. They call for extraordinary creativity and design. They need to be made from exceptional materials and with good quality, and they place an importance of durability and soundness. Companies are starting to realize that sustainability is a necessary part of their business model. And as more and more buyers become socially conscious and care about the provenance of the product, the community is being affected by it, both positively and negatively, and about the product or services impact on the environment, companies are going to have to alter their business models for the better. In real estate, we're already starting to see a change in the outlook of both builders and the end customer. In our experience at Isprava, we have seen that the transplantation of trees, usage of drip irrigation, recycling of gray water, support of local artisans, and funding of the arts has not only fueled our economic growth, but also st strengthened our brand equity. Companies will start to realize that doing well and doing good are not unaligned outcomes. 
and environmentally and socially con conscious practices will amplify their existence beyond the indulgence of the customer to the communities they are situated in. So just to conclude, as more and more players become aware of the need to reimagine what luxury means, we will see more innovative products and services being created to cater to our generation. I believe that luxury will continue to redefine and be remodeled by disruptive players who are looking to create true value for customers, society at large, and the planet as a whole, thereby leaving a legacy truly worth believing in. Thank you.